The Conmed Helix AR interface is robust yet easy to use. Looking on the front of the unit from left to right, you'll notice the foot control accessory receptacle, the monopolar one foot control receptacle, which accepts both hand control and foot control accessory connectors, the monopolar two ABC handpiece receptacle, the bipolar accessory receptacle, the patient dispersive electrode receptacle, and the ABC handpiece receptacle. Note the icons for these accessories are below or adjacent to the specified receptacle. Next to that is the standby switch, which starts up the generator. You'll see the screens come to life. Moving to the top left of the generator, you'll find the dispersive electrode status indicator. This flash is red prior to the connection of any dispersive electrode or connection of a dual foil dispersive electrode that is not applied to the patient. ConMed's ARM Dispersive Electrode Contact Quality Monitor automatically detects either single foil or dual foil dispersive electrodes. The factory default setting is dual foil dispersive electrodes only, but single foil dispersive electrode use is allowed by selecting the option in the Settings menu, which is covered in Module 3. When a dual foil dispersive electrode is applied to the patient and connected to the generator, the indicator flashes green and the contact quality bar illuminates between one to four bars based on quality of electrode contact. Once a monopolar device is successfully activated, the pad indicator will turn steady green and the contact quality bar will illuminate all four bars. If the quality of contact deteriorates, bars will be extinguished. If all four bars go out, the indicator turns red, a fault tone sounds, and a visual prompt on the generator displays. When this occurs, physically confirm proper contact between dispersive electrode and patient. If smoothing a hand over the electrode does not improve contact, replace the dispersive electrode. When using a single foil dispersive electrode, the pad indicator flashes red until the single electrode is connected. Then it turns steady green. The contact quality bars do not illuminate as the generator only senses if a pad is connected or not. If connection between the generator and the single foil dispersive electrode is broken, the indicator turns red, a fault tone sounds, and a visual prompt displays on the generator. Now let's move down to volume control. To adjust, push up the arrow to increase volume and the down arrow to decrease volume. Note that certain alerts cannot be silenced. The Settings button allows you to change the default settings. This will be reviewed in Module 3. This generator features specialty modes. The specialty mode selection key cycles through options for general, fluids, and laparoscopic mode. These pre-programmed modes establish a precise baseline of safe energy output. The general mode is a standard setting and can be used for open procedures. The fluids mode is used where fluid is present in the surgical field. The lap mode for laparoscopic procedures is used to limit the voltage when the electrode is not touching the tissue to minimize the radio frequency leakage current. The monopolar cut power adjustment key changes the output power setting of the selected cut mode. Moving to the coag section, you'll find the monopolar coag adjustment key, which adjusts the output power setting of the selected coag mode. The minor cut mode selection key cycles through the options of pure cut, blend 1, blend 2, and blend 3. The minor coag selection key cycles through the options of standard spray and pinpoint coag. The Pulse Cut Selection Key toggles between Pulse Cut On and Pulse Cut Off. When Pulse Cut is on, note that the coag power settings default to zero. The Pulse Coag Selection Key toggles between Pulse Coag On and Pulse Coag Off. In the Bipolar section, you'll find the Bipolar Power Adjustment Key, which adjusts the output power settings of the selected bipolar mode. The minor bipolar selection key cycles between the micro and macro bipolar modes. When in macro bipolar mode, the auto bipolar tone selection toggles sound alert on and off levels.
This optional tone is the bipolar impedance alert, which provides the clinician with a tone when the tissue impedance reaches a level where the output power is minimal and the desiccation effect slows down. This optional tone is available for the macro bipolar mode only. Moving to the argon side, low tank indicators will be displayed when the tank pressure is less than 250 psi. Ensure a second tank is connected with a pressure near full when placing the system in use. The ABC power adjustment key adjusts the output power settings. The default power setting for ABC is 10 watts. The argon flow adjustment keys adjust the flow of argon in SLPM or standard liters per minute for laparoscopic, open, manual, and ABC flex modes, which can be cycled through using the ABC mode selection key. Lap mode is the default mode and limits gas flow to a maximum of 4 SLPM for use in laparoscopic procedures at all power settings. The argon flow rates can be set manually based on the need for argon flow and the power setting. It is typically good practice to set the flow rate at 4 SLPM for power settings of 50 watts or more. Open mode automatically adjusts gas flow to match power settings as selected for open procedures only. The gas flow rates are set to be compatible with the amount of radio frequency energy that is delivered. These flow rates can be too high for use in any type of minimally invasive procedure. ABC Flex Mode limits the gas flow to a maximum of 2 SLPM for use with ABC Flex probes. A typical setting for GI procedures is 1 SLPM. Manual Mode allows the independent adjustment of ABC power and ABC flow rate within certain limits. These modes can also be used in conjunction with Argon Dissect and Argon Pulse modes. Argon Pulse can be used in all ABC modes. Argon Dissect can only be used when in lap, open, and manual modes. When the Argon Dissect key is selected, the system will prompt the user to verify the use of an Argon Dissecting electrode. Once verified, Argon Dissect mode becomes activated and four options are available, pure, low, medium, and high. Argon Dissect should only be used with the Argon Dissecting electrode accessory attached to the compatible ABC handpiece. Not doing so may result in excessive argon flow, potentially causing an embolism. The ABC Pulse Selection Key toggles between ABC Pulse On and ABC Pulse Off. When on, ABC Pulse Mode becomes activated and the following options become available. Single shot, 200 milliseconds. 400 milliseconds and 600 milliseconds. Once ABC settings have been established, press the Purge button before starting ABC handpiece activation. This primes the attached ABC handpiece with argon gas. The cycle typically lasts a few seconds. On the top right of the generator is the remote power control key. To use this feature, it must be enabled through the settings menu, which is discussed in module three. The indicator illuminates when remote power is selected. This allows the surgeon to change cut and coag power settings from the sterile field using an active electrosurgical accessory. The surgeon can double click the cut, coag, or ABC button on the handpiece. Increase power by pressing the cut button and decrease power by pressing the coag button. The surgeon can then double click a button to exit or let this feature time out after a few seconds. This concludes Module 2. Please view Module 3, the Settings menu and Program mode, to learn more about the unit.